Everybody got it? Oh, yeah. Modesta, I like your t-shirt. I was just going to say we're twins. <laughs> I like mine. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Troy, we need to get you one of the Invest Like a Girl t-shirts. Yep. I have some. You keep threatening. I have some. You have some my size. I do. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Because I had some guys that were requesting black with like bright pink. Mm, that was probably me. So we need to get one of those for you because those are now, nice. now you don't match. Mm-hmm. Yep. You, you got to fall in line here. Yep. <laughs> whoop, whoop me into shape here. Yeah. Mm. So I can introduce you guys to my YouTube audience. Yay. <laughs> Modesta, have we been on YouTube together? I don't think so. No, we do everything, everything together. Yeah. Except a YouTube YouTube video. (laughs) But YouTube. We're going to put that on the list next. Yeah. So in case y'all don't know, this is my business partner, Modesta. She's a total badass. Hey guys. (laughs) She runs our flipping and wholesale company and coaches alongside me in lazy girl REI. What else Modesta? You own small multifamily. Yeah. I wear you a do lot of private hats. lending. Yes. You're a mom. Yes. Throw that in yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. Mm-hmm. That's important. Troy, what do you do besides drink really fancy frappuccinos from Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I do pretty much. Yeah. Keeps me awake. What Y'all do I do? Troy. We yeah. just released our contractor course with Troy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He sometimes works in contracting. Sometimes, yeah. I have a tool belt. Works. Sometimes he just drinks frappuccinos and looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a frappuccino. <laughs> just kidding. He also <laughs> buys real estate, flips, yep. owns rental properties, mostly rental properties. Rental mm-hmm. properties more than flipping these days, which is good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Stopped, stopped flipping. Although, I might be doing one, might have one in the works. Yeah. Just been holding on to them. It's been a, it's hard to discipline myself to not sell them because yeah. I want to, I see that cash and I want it, you know, to buy yeah. the next one, but. It's the only way to build wealth. I'm being disciplined. Continue yeah. Them. Yeah. So we're all here because we're going to announce um, our next five day challenge. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. It's Troy, this is your first five day challenge with us. Right. I only did the one day challenge last time. Troy- <laughs> I was there. I was there half a day. Mm-hmm. Troy just joined Modesta and I hmm, a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Officially as a coach, officially. You were always in our student group, though, answering questions. So mm-hmm. you yeah. pretty much signed yourself up to be a right. coach. It seems like forever already. Yeah. Great. What? Huh? <laughs> You're a little slow. You're a little slow tonight. Nice. It's late. It's late here, Eastern time. Late? Well, that, yeah. Late for no, no comment. Yeah. So our five day challenge starts next Monday. Right? You yeah. both will be there. Absolutely. March 14th. 14th. March 14th. So our last five day challenge was jumpstart all about marketing, like getting your marketing in order, knowing your market, getting ready. And then, cause people always ask about that marketing and learning their market. And then after that five day challenge, we actually launched our contractor course. Cause people are constantly asking, how can you find a good contractor? So we launched the contractor course from troygood.com, right? Yep. And now we're tackling the next question that people always ask about, which is money and private Mm -hmm. money. So other than um, finding deals and finding a contractor, the next question is always, where do I find money? Okay. So both of you borrow private money for all your deals, correct? Correct. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except those ones that Troy buys for like a thousand dollars. Sometimes he'll fund those <laughs> right. himself. Right. <laughs> right. There's a few. I can usually float that. Yeah. 
And I've been borrowing private money since 2004, 2004, and doing private lending myself for, I don't know how long, like years now, maybe since 2013, 2013, I left healthcare. And that's when I was really active raising money. And then that's when I realized I could become a private money lender. And Modesta, when you retired from your job, yep, you were like me, I retired from healthcare into real estate mm-hmm. <laughs> and you retired from your job into real estate. Yep. And then you became a private lender. Yep. So we all do like private lending. We all love small multifamily, but also still buy some single family homes mm-hmm. and we all flip and do wholesaling. So we do a whole array of things. But this five day challenge is going to focus on money, 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 because everyone asks about money and everyone thinks the money is the hardest thing to find. And I don't think it is. What do you guys think? Nope. Definitely don't think when you're when you're just starting out, that's what people think. But Mm -hmm. once you once you get your first lender and your first loan, it just comes in after that. So absolutely right. I think the deal is the hardest thing to find Mm -hmm. and then the money and newbies can borrow private money. They really can. So we're going to teach all about private money for five days in a row, starting March 14th for free. Okay. And it's held in the evening because most people work during the day. It's like when I was starting real estate, I worked and then I studied real estate in my off time. So we're going to hold it in the evening on March 14th through March, hmm, what's that Friday? 18th? 18th. Through Friday the 18th. Mm -hmm. And it's going to start at 7 p.m. for VIP and 8 p.m. for general admission. Mm -hmm. So let's, we'll talk about what we're going to cover in the five days. And then we'll talk about the difference between VIP and general admission, but general admission is free if you guys aren't part of our Facebook group, join our Facebook group, RBREI, and you can sign up for the challenge at aprilcrosley.us. Okay. So here's what we're going to cover in the challenge. Day one, how do I find the money? Even if I'm a newbie, how do I find the money? So when you, did you guys ever use your own money when you first started? Nope. I have not. Mm -mm. Okay. Neither did I. (laughs) <laughs> so when I did my first deal in 2004, I remember the wholesaler bringing us the deal and me saying like, oh, I want to do this deal. And then us saying like, oh, we don't have the money. Mm-hmm. Like, how are we going to do this deal? Right. And we got it done. So there are ways to find the money and there's ways to find trustworthy people to connect you to the money. So mm-hmm. that's what we're going to talk about in day one. So people, we can help you get over that fear of where to find the money and how to find the money. Because everyone says, if you find the deal, the money will come. But I'm worried if I find the deal, the money won't be there. If it's a deal, the money is going to be there. The money will come, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so that's day one. Day two, we're going to talk about mindset shift because some of you aren't borrowing private money and you're using your own money because you feel like you shouldn't borrow money from someone to do your deals. So Modesta and Troy, like how happy are your private lenders that you work with? They, they, they love me. They beg me. They actually (laughs) ask me all the time. Like when, when are you um, coming back to me with the deal? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, and and then they uh, then they start fighting over you, like who's you know you get in trouble <laughs> when they find out you did a deal and they're wondering how with you someone money. else. <laughs> yeah, yeah then that's like like if I did a de- if I did a deal right now and April found out about it, and was like, um, I have some money. Why didn't you ask me? I'd be salty. <laughs> I'd be salty. <laughs> I can tell you that last night I w- at like midnight, someone sent me a deal. I woke up to it this morning. It was in my email, a deal package. They wanted a loan on it. And it's someone I've worked with in the past many times. And I love her. She's an amazing borrower. And I saw in the email that the email was also sent to another private lender that I know. And I was like, oh, I texted her right away. And I was like, yes, I will fund it. Here's my terms. Get back to me and let me know. Right. And she was like, okay, cool. Thank you. I was like, I trust her so much and her deal looked good. It took me like five minutes to analyze it, but I was like, Mm-mm, mm-hmm. I want this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have funds to move. I want this deal. So we're going to talk about mindset shift on day two, day three. Can you become a private money lender, which 
I don't know, like Modesto, when I was doing real estate, I was doing real estate for so long and never thought like I could be a private money lender until another private money lender sat down with me and was like, why aren't you doing private money lending? And I was like, how can I do private money lending? And Mm -hmm. then they showed me how. So a lot of times people just can't think Mm -hmm. big enough or Mm -hmm. they're not around the right mindset or the right people to think that they Mm -hmm. can be a private money lender. Mm-hmm. Absolutely agree with that. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause I feel like you're taught one, one thing, you know, and, and that's just, it's completely different. So. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you're also like, everybody's like flipping wholesaling, flipping wholesaling it or buying multifamily. You get stuck in this tunnel of like, that's what we have to do. Mm-hmm. And that's really not all that you have to do. Like you can do a variety of things, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. I, I lend on, um, in our contracting business, we'll lend out, we'll finance, um, roof jobs and stuff. for certain Yeah. Companies, you know? So yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Except I think I get a better interest rate than you're getting. <laughs> oh, well, you might have to give me the 411 on that. I might be interested in lending. Yeah. yeah <laughs> but you could have financed some roof jobs. Financing roof jobs. Yeah. Maybe we'll <laughs> tackle that during the five day challenge. So day one, we're going to talk about how you find the money day two mindset shift from, I can't borrow money from someone to how you can get over that. So you're not saving 25% down and slowly building your portfolio. Cause the only way to scale is to use other people's money. Eventually you're going to run out of your own money, even if you have it. And then day three, can you become a private money lender? So we'll talk about all the different ways my private money lenders lend their money. And then day four, how do you know how much to borrow or how do you know how much to lend? Like, how do you even know, like as a lender, how do you know this is how much money you're supposed to give the person? Are you giving them too much? And as a borrower, are you asking for too much? you know, depending on your level of experience. So we're going to talk about that on day four, because the first, if you can become a private money lender, the first deal you do is always a little nerve wracking, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. always a little nerve wracking. Yeah. And then day five, we're going to talk about how you successfully work with a private money lender. So you're going to have the three of us who are private money lenders and also private money borrowers telling you how to successfully work with lenders. So we see things from both sides, but there are certain things you will do that will keep your lender coming back to you again and again and again. It's just like Troy said, it's just like Modesta said, like once your lenders work with you and you're good to them and you successfully see a deal through, they're going to be like, when's the next one? When's the next one? When's the next one? Troy, I've done loans to you, like private money loans to you. And I'm always like, are you ready for more money? (laughs) And then what's my answer? Can you You wait in line? No, no, no. (laughs) Find me more deals. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Find me more deals. If you want to lend more money. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So let me recap real quick. Day one, how do I find the money? Day two, mindset shift on borrowing money. Day three, thinking bigger. Can you be a private money lender? And should you be a private money lender? And day four, how do you know how much to borrow or lend? And day five, how do you successfully work with that private money lender? So let's talk about the difference. The five-day challenge, March 14th, it will start at 7 p.m. for VIP. VIP gets an hour of time with me, Modesta, and Troy to ask any and all questions you want to ask real estate related. So VIP gets an hour before the general admission session to ask us whatever you want related to private money or not related to private money. But once the challenge kicks off, you're probably just going to be asking us private money questions, but you can ask us anything real estate related. So you can sign up at aprilcrosley.us. Then after we've had an hour with the VIP, then we'll do a general admission session at eight o'clock. So general admission is free. You can sign up, same link, aprilcrosley.us. It'll ask you if you want to go VIP or not go VIP. You don't have to go VIP. It just gives you extra time to ask us a bunch of questions. And you get a cute little swag bag. I'm not going to lie. Aww. That we send you in the mail. Oh, Troy, we'll get you a t-shirt from the <laughs> swag bag. <laughs> we'll send you oh. a swag bag so you have an appropriate shirt for the next YouTube Live. Come on. This How's that look- <laughs> I, Yeah, I want one with a lot of pink in it. We'll work on that. Yeah. 
Yeah. So the link again is aprilcrosley.us. I really hope that you guys can make it. We do these five day challenges to help jumpstart your business and give, 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 give to help move you guys along. So we started with marketing. Then we did our contracting course, which we streamed for free. And now we're doing everything and anything, money, 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 private money. Mm -hmm. Any other comments you guys have about the five day challenge? Am I missing anything? No, well, there's think- a question, um, April, that was brought up here on YouTube. Yeah. They want to add, they asked if um, terms will be discussed. Yeah. We can discuss as much as we have time to discuss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's like really where the VIP comes in handy because we dig deep. Mm-hmm. Like we dig deep in VIP because people have an hour to just ask questions so they can talk about rates and terms and notes and mortgages and deeds of trust and how do you get them drawn up and what do you need to protect yourself and everything in between. So there's a whole lot of Q and a that goes on during VIP, uh, Mm -hmm. general admission. We're still teaching and trust me. I mean, you guys are on YouTube and you follow my channel. So, um, if you're subscribed to my channel, you know, when I teach, I don't hold back. So I give and give and give and give and give. I'm a Dustin Troyer the same way. So I always tell people, if you can imagine if we give this much information on YouTube, what we're like when we do a five-day challenge or mm-hmm. when we coach, it's like tenfold. I mean, right. it's super exciting. Like we are mm-hmm. in the zone and teaching. So it's going to be awesome. And then the VIP is just next level because pe- you get to not only ask questions, but listen to everybody else's questions that are being asked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was I was just talking to somebody this afternoon about how they they want to get in real estate, but they just don't they don't know what step they they don't take the next step. And it's like they don't they're like, I don't know where to get the money. I'm like, well, you know, so this whole five day challenge is to help people to push them out of the nest, so to speak, to give them the tools and the information to jump start and get in and, and get moving in real estate. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, like they, they say the best time to plant a tree was like 20 years ago, but the next best time is like today. And yeah. so, I mean, how many people were saying two years ago, Oh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to get in real estate. Now they're kicking themselves because they didn't get in it and right. look how yeah. much prices went up. So, mm-hmm. yeah. and I'm glad you brought that up, Troy, because it's like every day in the five days we give people homework. So whether you're general admission or VIP, you get homework every day for five days. And then the next day we check in with you and we check in with you in the Facebook group, RVREI to say, Hey, did you do your homework? Mm -hmm. Comment if you did your homework, what did you find out by doing your homework? Do you need help with anything? So we're giving you basically hopping on, teaching you a lesson, giving you a challenge and saying your challenge for the day is to do one, two, three, four, ready, go. Then you have until the next night when we hold the session again to finish your homework from the day before. And then we're going to check in with you and see if you did your homework or not. So we're going to hold you accountable during the challenge. So it is a great way to like get yourself moving if you're feeling stuck for sure. Yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to really get out there and make it happen and this you'll be amazed that in five days, how much you accomplish if you take it one day at a time and step through it. And, and that's what you need to get moving. Yeah. We had <laughs> hundreds of people on the first challenge and they loved it. The one about marketing and knowing your market. It was and really now that, cool. And now that I'm one, I mean, it's probably gonna be oh. thousands. Oh, probably. <laughs> I mean, let's be realistic. I mean, who, <laughs> who else gives access to their contractor? Their best yeah, contractor. Right. Like, <laughs> Right. Definitely. We're shooting for a thousand. We'll if go you're lucky, that. if you're lucky, maybe you'll even get to see April's tool belt. <laughs> he has a tool belt. I'm waiting on my pink one to come oh, in. They probably so, have one. <laughs> so March 14th, 7 p.m. for VIP, 8 p.m. for general admission. We will see you guys there. We're going to cover five challenges. We're going to give you homework. We're going to check in with you every day. Join us in our Facebook group, RVREI, but make sure you sign up aprilcrosley.us so we can get all of our resources to you that you need for the five-day challenge. There's one more question, April, here that yeah. we brought up. Um, on uh, YouTube, they want to know how you got started with PML. Yeah. Were you, a new- were you a newbie? I was a newbie. I knew nothing. 
nothing. So I took the deal to someone that had more experience than me and they had money and I had the deal and we joint mentored on the project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So brand new, never used private money before, didn't know anything. And the joint venture partner, it wasn't his money. It was a private money lender's money. So he was bringing the private money lender and I was bringing the deal. Right, right. Yep. My first time, my first deal I ever got was um, an owner finance deal. So I didn't have any money, but essentially the seller was the private money lender, right? And then the second time around, and that was back in 96, Shoot, you are, you are dating yourself there, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was very young at the time. Uh, 90, 96. 96. I was six years old. I was graduating yeah. high school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Troy was building houses. Sorry, Troy. <laughs> uh, then my second one was I used a hard money. Lender. So that's how I got my oh, feet yeah. wet. And I didn't know at the time... I didn't know any private money lenders. I didn't know there was such a thing. I just knew there was hard money. And so I did that. I paid 16%. I wow. paid pretty high. Yep. Wow. Yep. And then, then once, but that's what I did. You know, I still made money, but I was like, I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, that guy knew what he was doing, right? He was making pretty good money. But then as I did more deals, now I got that rate down a lot. So yeah, there's a lot of money out there. Just, Absolutely. Yeah, just Way more money than deals right now. Mm-hmm. Way more right. money than deals. Yep. yep. And and then for me, the first time I borrowed uh, was for a flip project. Um, I was connected to to someone that I actually knew. I, di- I didn't even know he was a lender, but um, someone connected me to him and he lent um, his funds for my project. And then the first time I lent, um, it was for... I think it was a uh, Troy. I think I lent to you actually the first time you I did. did. <laughs> was that that was the first time? I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've lent to to a couple other people as well. So all through connections and everything. Uh, we do have one more question here, April. Um, do you need good credit to partner with a PML? Not necessarily. Nope. Uh-huh. They're going to look at everything you <laughs> and the deal, and if the deal's good enough then it will outweigh that depending on what the cause of the poor credit is. And it should never, having poor credit shouldn't stop you from doing the deal if you partner with the right person. Mm -hmm. And I think there are lenders that specifically partner with people who are maybe young and and new and they want to help people out. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's also some that will will want to help people out with bad credit is give them a second chance because maybe they were there at one time, you know? Yeah. That doesn't mean you're going to get as great rates from them, but you're going to get the money and and you got to take what you can get and run with it and prove yourself and, and then work to get those rates down as people see you succeeding and taking action. You know, Mm -hmm. when you don't, if you're the kind of person, when you're the kind of person that takes action, um, that's people are going to want to lend to you. Mm -hmm. But take action and pay back. <laughs> Someone you can made take, a... Go ahead, Troy. Sorry. Just say, uh, just because like some, just because you can be busy doesn't mean you're productive, right? Don't confuse the two. Busyness with being productive, but um, yeah, be just make it happen. Pay it back. Work and you know do the numbers. Be. Be smart enough if you if you're new and don't know to partner with somebody who does, mm-hmm. and share the profit and get you know get it to the first one under your belt. You know. Mm-hmm. So, what were you going to say, Medessa? I, I was going to say someone um asked another question here. Um, are there any good deals out there? Um, it seems like flip properties have been, um, just not available. Yes, there are. There are always deals out there. Mm-hmm. Go find them. I don't. I don't even market, and I find I find deals. You guys find me some, but we just. I just signed a contract last week for one that I found on Facebook, and it was a deal. we I mean, we paid like I'll tell you sixteen thousand. It's worth like fifty. So that's a good deal to me. 
Mm -hmm. can turn it over and make 20 grand or so. So they're out there. Deals. You got to dig deep. Right. Yep. Yeah. We got how many deals last week on their contract, April? I don't three? know. Something insane. Three. I think <laughs> was it like three last week? Three last three the week yep. before or something. Mm -hmm. or it's been crazy. Yeah. It's been busy. There's yeah. deals. Absolutely. Okay. We have another question here. Who um who should attend? Who is this challenge best for? People that want to find private money, people that want to find more private money, and people that um, are interested in becoming private money lenders. So pretty much everyone and anyone. If you think about it, it's an hour of your life, five days a week for free information. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who has any interest in learning anything about private money, mm -hmm. private money, anything and everything. Absolutely agree with that. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And our coaching students uh, will also be a part of the VIP. So. Oh yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to answer questions too. I mean, we have a pretty active, a very active, I should say coaching group. Super active. Um, yeah, no, I, I love it because they're all like in different um, parts in real estate, you know, mm -hmm. so they can all just factor in and answer questions as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're using private money for the first time and lending private money for the first time. Mm -hmm. So like there's a lot of students in our coaching group that will be on the VIP that it's their first time being a private lender and they didn't know they could be a private lender until they joined coaching. And now I just had a call last week with two of our students. One's the private lender. It's her first loan she's doing ever as a private lender. And one is the student and it's the first time they've ever borrowed private money, but they've been flipping forever, but they've been using their own money. Mm -hmm. And now they've run out of their own money. And then tonight I got a request for a Zoom call to talk to another set of students, completely different set. One is a private lender, first time he's ever lent private money. And the other is the first time they've ever borrowed private money. And we're hopping on a Zoom to walk them through that. It's like, her group's freaking amazing. I love it. So I they will it. be on the, I tell you guys that because they will be on the VIP where we do the Q and a for an hour so they mm -hmm. can answer questions as well about lending private money and borrowing private money, especially from like a first time perspective. I mean, we've all been through that, like first time of lending and borrowing, but for us, it's been a, a long time for them. It's fresh in their mind right now. So they can talk about any challenges, hurdles, how's it going, everything like that. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, someone asked about our markets. They want to know what markets we're in. And I mean, I would say that we're in multiple markets right now, Pennsylvania, Florida. New Mexico, Florida, um, uh, Tennessee, mm -hmm. North Carolina are they asking where our students are from or us personally. I think us, us personally. personally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think if there's any others. Um, yeah, really a number of markets. Yeah. It's hard to keep up with it, but um, how much capital do I need to become a, a private money lender? Depends on the market you're in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And depends on the price point of the house. So we can talk about that during the challenge too. But like, mm -hmm. I mean, I do some loans to people for 20,000 here. If you, there's different types of private loans that you can do like long-term versus short-term flip versus syndication. And it really depends on the price point of your market. Like for someone in California, it's going to be completely different than someone that's in Ohio. Mm -hmm. I would say for your average market, probably 50,000, 75,000 mm -hmm. in our market, 25,000 in the one market North of us that we're in 10,000. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, we're picking right. up houses so cheap there. Um, in California, I don't know, maybe you need a minimum of a million. I would mm -hmm. not lend in that market. Most people I know that live there don't invest there at all, not as lenders or mm -hmm. borrowers. They're in other markets. So it really varies depending mm -hmm. on what market you're in. Right. Yeah. And I was going to mention too that, um, you know, I know a lot of people that just lend on rehab versus oh, yeah. the purchase price and rehab. So that, you know, 
depending on how big the rehab is, you may, it may not be as much. So yeah. there's opportunity. Yep. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, I think that's all the questions we have here. Is that it? Did, did you miss me? We did. Yeah. <laughs> we did notice your absence. Did you know what happened? <laughs> guess, take a guess what happened. Uh, your power went out. You got it. Because it's storming here really bad. <laughs> yeah. Really bad. Mm -hmm. it, it flickered. So, you know. Yeah. When you live out in the boonies. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. So we'll see you March 14th. Me, Madassa Troy. If you're in VIP, you'll get to meet all of our current students, which will be pretty great. We can answer Q&A for an hour, March 14th, 7 p.m. Sign up, aprilcrossley.us. 8 p.m. for general admission. Join our Facebook group, RVREI. Make sure you register for the challenge so we can get all your goodies to you if you're VIP um, and get what we call deliverables, like action items and homework to you for everybody on the challenge, whether you're VIP or not. So aprilcrossley.us is where you want to go to sign up. We will see you March 14th. See ya. Bye. Bye.